guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome so today's video is gonna be a vlog it's gonna kind of be a mess because I am weekly vlogging however this week one it flew by and two I don't really do much outside of taco Tuesday which I will probably insert at the end of this vlog if I like the footage but I do know I want to vlog myself you know prepping for my trip today is Thursday I fly to Atlanta tomorrow morning which I'm gonna vlog but that's gonna be a separate vlog and I have so much to do I'm wearing a hat because I made a wig last night and I installed it and everything and I hated it so I have to go to the hair store to buy a new frontal some bundles to make a wig tonight I have to get a lash fill and I have to get a new suitcase I gotta buy a whole bunch of stuff okay but before we leave this house I have to get dressed. In order to get dressed, you gotta wear clothes. Speaking of clothes, this video is sponsored by Misguided. So I'll be trying a few of their sets really fast, uh, their fitness sets. I know I'm not going to work out right now. I'm gonna work out later though, so I'm just gonna keep the same outfit on all day. But their fitness sets, I've already worn like two of them. They're so comfortable and they're perfect to go out and just wear when you're shopping. So let's try those on really fast and then we'll leave the house because it's like 12 o'clock and I have to go get the hair first in downtown and then I have to go to my last appointment at two. So we're kind of on a time crunch, but I think we could do it. I lowered my camera so you could see more. So this is the first set. It's really cute. As you can see, the sleeves have those little holes for your thumbs. I actually don't know what that's for, but I think it's cute. And it comes with the top and the bottoms. I know I'm pretty far away, but you can still see me. This is really cute, guys. Their sets are so freaking comfortable. I wore the black and white one. I'll insert like a little boomerang right here. I wore that the other night at the gym. And then the green one I wore when I went to go shop at Target. And I'm going to wear the green one today. I already know that because I washed it. By the way, when you wash these, they still, the quality is the same. I don't know if you guys care about that kind of stuff. But you know, sometimes you get new clothes and they look really nice. And you wash them that first time and they look different this does not apply to these sets they still look brand new so here's the blue one i love these i like these little lines on the side i feel like it kind of gives your shape more shape and just makes you just look really curvy and cute so here's the pink set the sleeves also have you know when you got your little thumbs out it's cool though because they have long sleeve and short sleeve you go to the short sleeve and i put the green set on and you could do leggings or you could do shorts i think workout gear well cute workout gear is so important like honestly having sets that are already put together before you work out i feel like it motivates you to work out like when i went to go work out the other night in the black set i just felt so confident and cute and i looked good i knew i was doing a workout to make me look even better it was just a whole entire vibe okay and so here's the pink set i like the pink set a lot actually i just have to get the right hat or the right gear for it because i don't think it looks cute with a black hat but that's just me in my own head. I'm weird like that. I like everything to coordinate. Another thing I did though, when I was picking out stuff on Misguided is I got matching masks. So I have, for the light blue set, I have a light blue mask. I have a green mask that I wore when I uh, wore the green set to Target. I looked so fucking cute. I have a black mask and I have like pink masks. So they have masks that match everything. All right, let's do the black set and then we'll end with the green set because that's the set I'm gonna wear. Ooh. I look kind of legit. So this is a black set. As you see, my thumbs are still out. I wore this to work out the other night, but I wore the short sleeve top instead, which is in the washer. But this is so cute. I would wear this today, but I don't want to wear out black when it's all sunny and nice out. So that's why I'm wearing the green. But this is a black set. By the way, I got these in a size 10 slash 12. If that helps, if you're a similar size to me, I would get those sizes. They fit really snug, but not tight and like, it doesn't make you feel restricted. That's the best word I can come up with. Cause it's very stretchy as you can see. Let me show you, it's very stretchy material. So it's pretty comfortable. And I love with the bottoms that like they're tight enough. Like they're not too tight around your waist to where like you feel uncomfortable, but they're tight enough to where you feel like everything's being held together, if that makes any sense at all. So let's try this green one on. That's the one I'm gonna wear today. And then let's go get this hair, you guys, because yeah. All right, guys, this is the last and my favorite set. It's the green set. It has the long sleeves and the shorts. It's so comfortable. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen me wear this. It's my second time wearing this, but don't worry. I washed it. Like I said earlier, washing and drying this set did not decrease the quality at all, so that's a good thing. And another thing before I forget, these sets are very breathable. I'm not sure if on the site they promise to be, but they are because when I worked out in them and even when I went out and shopped in this set when it was super hot, 
I didn't feel like my body was overheated. So I don't know what kind of material they use. I mean, I know it's stretchy, but it's very breathable and comfortable and it doesn't feel like too hot or like, you know, too tight when you're wearing it out, either when you're working out or if you're just wearing it as a casual little outfit and it's hot outside. So if you're interested in buying any of the sets I tried on, which I think you should, they have other colors, but now that I think about it, the reason why I didn't get them was because some of them were selling out pretty fast. They didn't have my size. So if you're interested in these sets, I would recommend getting them right now because they're gonna sell it pretty fast. Carefully so because they're really cute and comfortable. So when you do go to the site, use my code RML20. That'll get you 20% off. I'll have everything linked down below as well as my code down below in case you forget. And let's look at this hair now. Guys, so like because of COVID, you can't have multiple people on the elevator. Like only like parties of two or people who know each other. And there was like a line. So like I'm walking down these stairs and my legs are shaking because they're sore from working out the other night. Like, I could have just waited, but I'm really in a rush. Ooh. I feel like trembling. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm about to be outside looking crazy. Maybe Hair Queen LA, that's why I'm going for hair. They already have pre-made wigs, so if they have one that I like, I'm wearing it at the shop, girl, because I want to look cute. Oh shit, the camera's so close to me. Okay, guys, we have like, we have like five more sets of stairs to go. Shit. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. After driving what felt like forever, I'm finally here. I'm showing you guys my mask. This one I was talking about earlier that matches this set. So let's go inside and see what these wigs is talking about. <laughs> Alright guys, I picked out a wig. We're gonna get it installed later so you guys will see that happen. I'm gonna get my lash done. I'm actually gonna be kinda late, so I'm about to speed. Well, not really, but I'm gonna go. Hey. I'm vlogging. Show them where I go to get my lashes done. I cheeky. You barely see me, but got my lashes done. Sorry for my key noise on the guy, I know that's annoying. They look really good. Um
I had her go a little more full on them this time so it lasts longer. You can't even tell though, they still look really, really good. So I'm about to head home now, guys. We got a lot to do. I got to bleach the knots on this wig. Oh, they look pretty. Oh, it's bright. Oh, bye, y'all. I'm see you at home. All right, guys, I'm back home. Traffic wasn't that bad. I'm just opening up the packages really fast. Okay, Kiss sent me some hand sanity, a new Argan and Macadamia mask. I still haven't used my last one, though. Maybe I get this away. But I still have these products and I haven't used them all yet. But I could use this hand sanitizer, so I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, I already have a mask. That's, I still need to uh, finish my other jar, so I'm gonna keep this in the box, probably give it away. So we still have to, uh, I still have to go to Target. But I think what I'm gonna do, which I think will be smart, so I avoid getting things I don't need. Uh, I think I'm gonna get all my outfits ready. And like pack what I have. That way, what the hell is this? When I go to Target, I'm only getting what I need. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll pack everything I already have. Oh, purity. Oh, please have the face wash in here. A bamboo vanity tray. This actually matches. Oh, I lied. It matched my old bathroom. I could put it in my room though. Ooh, they did send that face wash. I love this face wash. And is this new? It's a mattifying facial cleanser, so I don't know, this looks new. And a moisturizer, they're mattifying though, and I'm not oily. I'll try it, and if it's too mattifying, I'll just give it away to one of my oily friends. All right, so I need to start bleaching these knots. It's too bright in here. I'm gonna try to put this wig on, I'm gonna show you guys the wig I got. I don't know why I thought he gave me some masks. This is a swimsuit. What, I, Lord. Here's my wig. I got some more Bold Hold Active and some skin protectant, but then he also came out with a glue called What Lace Glue, and they said it's better than Bold Hold, so I'm gonna try that out too. Let me put this wig on. So this is the wig I bought. As you can see, the frontal is very dense. It needs to be plugged, but the color is so pretty. The hair quality is so nice. That's why I bought it, but we for sure need to... Um, bleach these knots and this is HD lace so when I do get installed it's gonna look really nice but I'm gonna pay my friend to do it because I don't know I don't want to and I think she's better at plucky than I am but that's gonna be pretty so I'm gonna just start bleaching the knots and what else do I want to do oops um I need to eat something really fast but I don't know what what well, could tell when this gets installed and customized She's gonna be cute. But we ooh, this this closure frontal gotta be plucked. But I just like the hair quality. And you could tell it's good quality hair. Hair Queen LA, they make really good quality hair. Um I'm gonna start a photo. I was wearing their hair in this picture. And that hair I still have it. Like it, I can't explain the texture, but it's perfect. And they offer different bundles. Those bundles are a little more expensive than the other ones, but they last super long. And it's something about the quality that just like it just blends so good with natural hair, so. I'm going to definitely link them below, but I'm going to take this wig off, put my hat back on. Woo! All right, let's bleach these knots really fast. Um, so he was explaining to me that these knots... So by the way, they do have some wigs that come with the knots already bleached. However, sometimes they don't bleach them, which I mean, I don't mind either. Or let me actually start moving. But he was telling me... So basically, because of everything that's going on right now with COVID... There's like a shortage in like lace and just production, all that shit, okay? It, it's, it's, it's looking ugly for us. And because of that, the lace quality is like decreasing. And so while this is HD lace, and I mean, it looks thin, looks really, really good. It's double knotted. So like there's single knots and those are easier to bleach and there's double knots. And I, I appreciate the fact that he told me this before I purchased the wig um, because he was like, yeah, like I, got, I have to let you know these are double knotted. So when it comes to bleaching, it's going to be a little more difficult. So I appreciate that. I love honesty because most people wouldn't tell you that. They would just, you know, get your money. But I have to really like let the bleach sit on here in order to like really penetrate the knots. And like, you know, I probably have to bleach this twice, which I typically do bleach my knots twice anyways. But I got to bleach this at least twice because the knots are thicker because the lace quality and it's like um i know exactly what he's talking about because one of the wigs i got sent recently you guys see my pops oh, i love that guy um oh this lighting is not good on me let me get the developer and the bleach 
but one of the wigs that got sent recently for a sponsorship, I could tell their knots were like double knotted, but the company didn't let me know that. So I was like, what the hell is going on with these knots? Like they did not bleach the way they should have. But because he let me know that, hey, these, these knots are like this, at least I'm prepared to like, you know, really bleach and go crazy. I want to take this off before I work with bleach. I don't want to stain it. Let me, one second, let me change. I changed my shirt because for whatever reason, whenever I wear clothes that I actually like, I end up dyeing or bleaching hair. And I always, like I'll keep the clothes on, like, ah, oh, I'm straight, I, I'm not messy. And it never works out that way. I was wearing this one t-shirt one time when I was bleaching hair and I'm like, oh, I'll be good. Stain the shit out of it, I can't even wear it anymore. But let me just bleach these knots. Um, I'm using 30 volume developer because I'm gonna do it twice and I don't want it to be too harsh on the lace. I need to write a list of things I need to do because it's a lot. Ooh, this hair is such good quality. You could feel it. It's so thick and luscious. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so um, the front was bleaching. I'm gonna put a timer on, maybe like 30 minutes. 30 minutes, let's see. Okay, Um, I kind of feel like I need to sit down for like 15 minutes. I need to eat a snack or something because I'm actually hungry. And then, when do I wanna go to Target? My friend is gonna come install this wig after I, I leave the gym, so that's cool. Um, I'm trying to think when will I have time to go to Target. Maybe I go to Target in like the next hour. I wanna just wash these knots though, um, bleach it twice, and maybe like in the next hour or so. But I wanna pack a little bit first. But then it's like I gotta get a suitcase first. It was like I have a suitcase, but I want a new suitcase. But do you need a new suitcase? You don't really need one. Fuck, okay. Let me figure my life out, guys, because all of a sudden, I just get overwhelmed. Have a car and you walk in. Oh, shit. We're way too close to me. All right, guys. After a long two minutes of reflection dawned on me, I don't need shit from Target, okay? But I do need stuff from Ulta. Well, I need one thing, but I'm going to get a lot of stuff. So let's go there. I want to just buy stuff. I don't know. I just got this, this urge in my body, and it was like, Arnell, go to Ulta and buy shit. So that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> Bro, if you're an air sign, please tell me, are you this impulsive too? Like, I know I'm not the only one, okay? But I'm gonna go to Ulta, so let's go. Guys, the line is so fucking long. That was loud. I mean, I kind of have to speak louder than I want to because of my mask. You probably can't hear much of what I'm saying anyways. But I'm gonna take my sweet time and shopping which that line dies down, cause girl, do I need Q-tips? No, not really. I'm just looking around, guys. Ooh, sugar bear. I already have sugar bear, actually. Ooh, I like this, uh, these masks though. But I mean, I can't really do masks right now because I have freaking braids in my hair. So let's put that down. Let's be logical about things. I need to find some type of lip product that um, tints your lips by hydrating them. Because I feel like my lips are so pale right now. Like they have no color. Oh my god, this music is an ear sore. Yeah, I need to find um, some type of lip product that has a tint to it. So, yeah. home guys 
I'm not proud of how much I spent, but I'm happy with all I got. My total with everything I got. And I'm gonna show you guys so it makes sense. Ended up being like $1,400, but I got a lot of cool stuff. I mean, when I'm looking at everything now, it's okay, that's not a lot. But I'm gonna enjoy myself when I use all this makeup and hair stuff and whatever else I got, I forgot. I honestly, like, I really meant what I said. I really just want to spend money and like buy shit I like or that I want to try with no limits. And that's what I did. I get in those moods sometimes. I don't do this often. But I'm just like, fuck it. I just want to spend the money I work for. I want to buy shit. This is everything I got, guys. I have a flat iron, some root touch up because I oil bleached my knots earlier. So I think you can fix the root touch up. Got some hair sprays, hair products, setting sprays, some sponges, some more mineralized skin finish. I want to try this NARS bronzer, um, this Cover FX primer that I really love. I got this uh, tinted moisturizer that I've used before back when I used to work for Bare Minerals. And I got two shades because you can't really swatch shades anymore. And I remember I was I remember I was shade number eight, but my skin goes from, I'd be like pale one day, tan the next. So I just bought both um, seven and eight to like, you know, either mix or use either or. Got a whole bunch of bucks and glosses. That alone is a lot. And then uh, teeth whitening kit, new perfume. Uh, more cover effects foundation the power play and the natural finish because they're both really good got some concealer Got some more of the Clarence lip oil that I used to always promote the fuck out of I don't know why I stopped buying it Um, I think I started to use something else, but I still love this stuff and they have the shade I love which is raspberry It's like a nice pink. It's perfect. And that's the lip tint stuff. I was talking about and, uh, That's it. All right guys, let me go to the gym work out or whatever and I'll see you guys when I get back home and I have to stop wearing fucking hats because I'm about to get this wig installed. All right, got my gym backpack, got my outfit, and I'm ready to go. All right, I'm so annoyed. Bye. I'm sweating so much. Can you see that? Ew, right? Had a good workout, though. Now I'm just waiting for Naya to get here to do my hair. Maybe I should pack while I wait. I want to shower, but I know it's going to make me sleepy. I need to change my clothes, though, that's for sure. I'm gonna get my hair done, guys. After I stopped vlogging, I like cooked something. Where's my key? I cooked a little something to eat. I made some shrimp and grits. And then I lay down for a second. And now I'm about to get my hair done. Go to my friend Naya. She's at my friend Zach's house. You guys know Zach, Zachary Campbell. He feels like three minutes away from me, so I'm about to go over there. It's Shock! <laughs> He's so cute. How's his leg? You see him? Look at him! Catch him because he's trying to jump off the damn couch. Oh, he has a new collar! Oh, he, got, he, got his, he got his baguettes! Oh my god! He got his baguettes! I'm about to get my hair done. I don't want to take up this hat, y'all.
right guys i'm back home i love how my hair looks although i am so mad this lace frontal is like double knotted because if it wasn't this would look flawless the girl that did my hair she's a perfectionist too and she complained about the lace too because uh, the lace the, the the knots are too thick but like i said i don't know if i'm even edit that part or keep it in um when my edges set i'll just brush them out so they look a little more wispy but I had to pack and I really despise myself for waiting so last minute. But I'm gonna just keep shit real simple. Alright, so let me grab my suitcase and we better just throw shit in there and go to sleep at least for a few hours. I mean, we don't wanna drive to the airport. I don't know. I kinda wanna hire a driver. I that's a lot of work. Okay, let me get the suitcase and just start packing and then we'll figure out how I wanna get to the airport after the fact. Alright, grab my suitcase from a balcony. We want to keep things real simple. I fly out tomorrow morning, get there, land at the hotel, shower, that's one pair of underwear, two, I'll probably take a bath, that's two. I overpack for underwear. Uh, uh, okay, underwear. Boom, 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 boom. Extra pair just a case. That's underwear packed, okay. I don't even like bras, but I always bring one just in case. I bring a tan and a black one. Boom! Easy. Ah. Uh, my favorite pair of jeans. Packed. A jean jacket. Do I want a jean jacket? I might if I bring black pants. A plain white top. Can't go wrong with that. Probably won't wear it. I'm actually really a chaotic packer. Like, there's no strategy in my book. I literally just throw things I think I need. And if I forget anything, I buy it wherever I'm at. So, that's how I pack. If I wasn't linking with friends, I would cancel the trip. Like, me as a person, being this tired and feeling, and feeling how I currently feel, like, if I wasn't mean to my friends out right there, I'll be like, you know, Arnell, you need to go. And I would literally change my flight. But I can't do that. So, I'm going to finish packing, y'all. And then, uh, I don't know what we're going to do after that. It's like, I want to go to sleep, but I kind of feel like I should just, just stay up. Because it's already about to be 1 in the morning. We'll figure it out. Let me just finish chaotically packing. You're not missing out on much. I'm literally just throwing shit in the suitcase. I have no strategy, actually. But wait, I want to put pack with me in the title. Those do good on YouTube. Maybe I should show you guys how I pack. But I don't really do anything special. I'll show you guys how I'm packing once I have everything on top of the suitcase. How I like organize it. I should flip a quarter and if it lands on heads, I should stay home. Let me stop. Ugh, I'm such a fucking Aquarius. Okay, what's already in here? Oh cool, I have a body wash in here and that's cool. I'll leave it in here. Got some tampons. I was menstruating last time I traveled. Not anymore. I don't need that. Hmm. Hair oil. Don't need that. Okay. Oh. That's my hair and stuff section. My makeup section. So my suitcase, obviously there's two sides. I put like my hair and beauty stuff on one side. And then the clothes on the other side. Depending on where I'm traveling though, I usually have a whole separate section just for my makeup and beauty stuff alone. But I'm only going for a weekend, so like I don't need to do all that. So I might just fold my clothes. I'll put the outfits next to each other. This is the outfit for sure, because I had a stylist pick that out for me. So at least that's easy. So just fold that, put that together. I bring these pants with me everywhere. They're by Fashion Nova. They're like, I think it's like their mom jeans. I don't know. <sighs> Anne, when Anne packs, she lays everything flat and it seems like she's able to fit a lot. So maybe I could do that. When I visited DC for the first time and Anne packed my suitcase for me, she did it in a way where I'm like, how'd you fit all this? Like, how'd you do this? But she lays all her stuff flat. Like she like will fold over once and then she just lays it flat. So, okay, so I went and grabbed my makeup stuff. So, I have a bag with like my toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, 
face wash, face moisturizer, that kind of stuff. Um, this bag, I have my makeup brushes and sponges. And then in these two, like, Sephora bags, I have my powders, liquids, primers, um, gloss and stuff. Coming in that. This bag, I have my flat iron and just other little stuff that I have. Okay. And on this side, I usually put my shoes, too. I just lay them flat on top of everything else. Maybe I do have a little system, and I'm more organized than I thought. And little pockets is where I put my underwear. I'm trying to think if that's it. It got dark because I turned off my closet light. I'm taking my socks. It's hot. My feet are hot. Um, sometimes I'll bring room spray. So the hotel reminds me of home, but I ain't gonna do all that this time. Yeah. Let's see everything up. Shoes, clothes. Yeah, my laptop and everything else I put in my a backpack. I'm trying to think if I even want to bring my laptop though. Because I don't think I need to edit. I'm going to edit this video before I leave. That's why I'm extra tired. Kind of. Oh, I just socked my fucking I have to edit the rest of this vlog. Ooh. I think I post this Saturday. I know I need to bring my camera to film when I'm out there. But I have an EOS RP now, which is like a smaller version of EOS R, so that's easy. So I'm going to pack up my little backpack. I think I'm done. Okay, I packed my other second bag that carries like my laptop and everything else. And I'm pretty much done. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I don't think I am, but I guess we'll see when we get there. But I'm going to end this vlog now. I still don't know if I want to insert my Taco Tuesday portion into this vlog. Or maybe... I don't know. That'll be backwards. I won't. I'll, I'll save that for next week's weekly vlog. Or maybe you guys will just never see that footage. I don't know, because this week, this week's weekly vlog was just a mess. But hopefully this vlog, you know, works out for you. I'm definitely going to vlog when I go to Atlanta, so you guys won't miss out on that. But until next time, I'm about to edit this vlog because I already started editing on my desktop, so I have to finish it. Then I'm going to go to sleep for a couple hours, take a nap, and head to the airport. And I'll see you guys in my Atlanta vlog. Mm -hmm.